Hello trainers and welcome to Pokemon Go! So look at this guys, we got make a way for friends, trading and gifting in Pokemon Go! Look at this picture you guys, this is gonna be an exciting update that everybody is looking forward to. I'm just so excited for this one. So guys, let's read from paragraph to paragraph to paragraph on trading cause I'm just like beyond excited for this this is insane it's like i saw it this morning about trading and i'm just like hey it's time to make a recording out of this so yeah guys let's get started so trainers were excited to share brand new ways to interact with your friends in pokemon go the friends feature will start rolling out to trainers later this week allowing you to connect with your real-life friends and keep track on their adventures in Pokemon Go. You'll be able to send them items, earn bonuses, and even trade Pokemon. In order to add a friend in Pokemon Go, you must first ask them to share their trainer code with you. To invite a trainer to become your friend, simply enter their trainer code and then send them a request. If they accept, you'll become friends and you'll see them in your friends list, which you see right here. Look at this guys. We got a new friends tab right here on the right side and we have level 40 uh, tabs are on the left. So it just in indicates that they're making new changes for detailing. So let's go over to this one right here we got an add friend requests to people that you have trade with so we got all these examples for trainers who are going to train pokemon with you are going to be added to your friends list so make sure to add friends with people that you have met this is for trainer profile and friends list so when you spin a photo disc at a Pokestop or gym, you have a chance to receiving a special gift. Although you can open the gifts you receive from Pokestops. You can send them to a friend on your friends list. Inside the gift will be a stash of helpful items which your friend will receive along with a postcard showing where you pick up your gift. Gifts are, can also include a special surprise. An egg that when hatched will contain an Alolan form of a Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto region. Guys, this is big, man. Look at this. We got a gift. A box that you can send to a friend. Contains a variety of useful items. So here's another one right here. So it shows you that you're giving it to a friend for a gift right here. And uh, also, let's go back to this. Send gift, trade. I love these features right there. That's amazing. And they got hearts right here added. And they got level 7 with the long level cap that you have. That's really cool. I love these changes. So here it is. Which gift do you want to send? So it's a prominent ribbon sculpture plague that is from San Francisco, California. And there's another gift that is from San Francisco Ferry Terminal Landmarks. So it's just to send a gift somewhere. I hope they implement something like this for gifts. But yeah, we'll, we'll see in the detailed section of what to do with this. This is really interesting to look after and keep on the lookout for this because this could be a special uh, special thing for you guys to do for gifts also we got a gift right here so it's greetings to san francisco ferry terminal landmark and you send that gift to wherever you will send it so when you send a gift to a friend or participate in a raid or a gym battle with them, you can increase your friendship level. As your friendship level builds, you'll then unblock bonuses when you play together. So for example, when you and a great friend participate 
in a gym battle or a raid battle together, you can earn an attack bonus to give your Pokemon an edge. You can increase your friendship level once per day. Once per day per friend. Alright, so here's the examples right here. So we got a good friend with four hearts. And you trade all the Pokemon except Mythical because Mythical is already been given to everybody and there's no need for training a Mythical. So that's a good way where Niantic is approaching this. So, and, and then a great friend with four hearts, you got to trade a Stardust discount for one. Um, and then, so it really depends how much Poke Coins it's gonna be. We'll go into detail about this. So gym battle, raid battle attack bonus with a raid bonus of one premier ball. This is this is huge guys. One premier ball. Premier balls can tend to go less if your premier balls go less and then other things go like you know around six to less balls, like five to seven if you guys had a struggle with it. And when you have extra Premier Balls like this, this is going to help you guys in the long run. So that is very helpful. Then we got Ultra Friend right here with uh, four hearts. I think they're going by four section of hearts. So here it is. Trade Stardust discount for two Stardust. All right. And then Gym Battle and Raid Battle for attack bonuses. And then Raid Bonus, two balls. Oh my gosh. So they're increasing it up to where you have great friend and then an ultra friend. So it's something like um, it's something like you get from boxes, like great great box and ultra box a little bit, but they tied it up to something more better. So yeah, take it into consideration about this. This is really good, and also best friend. I highly highly recommend that you guys take this best friend into consideration this one is really good stardust discount is 300 stardust and then we got gym battle raid battle attack bonus and we got raid bonuses up to four premier balls that's actually a big big difference of adding more raid uh premier balls this is really awesome guys so you can also build your friendship level by training Pokemon with a friend if you're near a friend and have a trainer Level of 10 or higher you can trade Pokemon. You've caught with that friend Completing a trade earns a bonus candy for the Pokemon you've traded away and That bonus can increase if the Pokemon you traded were caught in, in locations far apart from each other all trades are powered up by Stardust and some trades require more Stardust than others. As you build your friendship level with the friend you are trading with, you'll find that you have a complete the trade, that you can complete the trade with much less Stardust. So going over trading with friends, here's the symbol. You can trade with a friend only when you're near each other. So there was a hint about this with other people talking about training a while back. And they were saying that if you're near with somebody for training, it actually works this way. Like if you have like AT&T, Verizon or Sprint, you know, I think it will implement it. So I don't know if Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are accounted for it. So make sure to keep on the lookout for this and see if Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are accommodated for that trading for friends. I think that's maybe the case, but we'll see. Also, we got the trade with Stardust. I did talk with you guys about Stardust. So it's all about saving. And I'm going to tell you why you have to save Stardust. So the amount of Stardust needed to trade Varies. So trades for certain Pokemon are called special trades and require more Stardust. You can reduce the amount of Stardust required for special trades by increasing your friendship level. So 
this is gonna be an interesting uh de this is gonna be an interesting in info right there that you guys can take into consideration with stardust because it's like saving money from a bank right you save money from a bank for college or any other thing you need or you know it's you know stardust is very precious you want to save it for like maybe for something bigger so special trades so we have a legendary pokemon a shiny pokemon and pokemon not currently in your pokedex all require special trade you can only make one special trade a day so if you guys remember what happened to me before with shiny lugia and shiny ho-oh i didn't have any in, any encounters of that at all so this is gonna help me to get shiny lugia and shiny ho-oh this is unless if you guys have numbers about like let's say four shiny lugias or more i'm perfectly fine to have one so it's for pokedex edition so i don't mind but if you guys have one shiny legendary then i wouldn't ask for a trade at all you guys can keep it but if you guys have like more shiny legendaries let me know and uh yeah <laughs> also you need to be so candy bonuses you need to be within a hundred meters of a friend to start a trade so you can earn a bonus depending on where the pokemon in the trade were caught so the further so the farther apart they're caught locations up to 100 kilometers the more candy you earn so this is really interesting to see we'll see more about that soon so yeah candy bonuses is actually a good deal for if you want to evolve pokemon or something like that so yeah keep on an eye for all these things that niantic has added this is amazing stuff and um let's keep going with this information Certain Pokemon, such as legendary Pokemon, a shiny Pokemon, or a Pokemon not currently in your Pokedex, require a special trade to complete. So keep in, keep that in mind before trading away that golden Magikarp. <laughs> special trades can only occur once per day with a great friend and, or best friend, and it often requires a lot of Stardust to complete a special trade a special trades are a great way to show a friend how much you care so here it is we got pikachu here and we have a cp range so here it is cp uh 343 to 427 uh hp so they're just rounding the estimates of the cp and hp and so they're rounding up the estimates of CP and HP. And uh, this is a really cool feature that they added right there. So next up is Pikachu and Squirtle. So it's going to be confirmed as 100 Stardust, which is good. And I think you guys will get that opportunity to trade with 100 Stardust. That's a pretty good, good deal for it. So take advantage of this. This is really good. And also, we got a legendary, uh, oh my god, 1 million Stardust. That's going to be the downside for most people that don't have 1 million Stardust. I'm already above 1 million Stardust, but I can accidentally lose it. But I can purposely lose a 1 million Stardust for, for legendaries that I need, like a shiny legendary. But... You know, 1 million Stardust is going to be too big. So if you guys, like I said, if you guys want to save Stardust, I would do it. So that you can trade like your best legendary or your shiny legendary for something the same way with shiny legendary or a legendary. So yeah, with Stardust, it is going to be a big thing. So yeah, keep in mind about this because... This is really good to go for for Stardust. You gotta really stay dedicated with Stardust. I've been 
dedicated with Stardust since last summer, last year. So yeah, I've been really dedicated to it. So I want you guys to get super, super dedicated to Stardust this summer so that you can trade with other people if you're up to that point. So yeah. So get out there and discover Pokemon with friends. Stay safe and happy exploring. This one by far is the best update to ever see. <laughs> oh my gosh. So going back to the CP range like right here and here. I actually want to talk about this because I did talk about this seven months ago on Elijah Watts' video that when training became a struggle that we never got it. So here it is. So my comment about this, it can be an opinion, it can be an opinion about it, but since Niantic is staying true to what I've talked about, I was right on point. So here's this one I talked about with Elijah. So I agree with your trading theories, but some things have to be added for trading. And this is one of them for trading, even though for level one and nine may not start trading experience until they can hit up to level 10 because I think it will be cool for starter players to aim for that goal for training. So it's something like this for PVP where you enter level 10. You know, this is the type of examples that you see from here right around this corner where you have CP. I didn't mention about HP. I didn't even notice this was a thing, but also, um, yeah, CP ranges, this is very equal. So now we can see from here that I talked about Niantic has to go by level cap and CP ranges. So IVs, we are going to go further about IVs because people are questioning about are the IVs are going to matchable to whatever the IV Pokemon that you got or he or she got, you know? So this is something to take in, into consideration is IVs. So IVs and movesets will matter. This is just an opinion. Before training is approved and ready to everybody globally, you know, I said, for example, since we're in the same CP range, so like I said in the pictures um, that you guys already saw, so CP range of level 30 and up, we can trade Pokemon with the same different number of CPs. So this is an example right there. You got 16, 14, 7, 14, 14, 65 to 15, 30, 31. It's very close to what I was talking about before. So this is the same part right here. We can trade Pokemon with the same and different number of CPs. I was level 37 back then, so now I'm level 40. So, so I'm level 40 right now, and Elijah is right now level 35. So, and trading with your exclusives, like Heracross for CP 1900, okay? And then for his Heracross for CP 1800. So when training is approved, we're both satisfied because we completed our Pokedexes. So this is something that I came across with um, with regional exclusives so and then I talked about this like when Niantic made adjustments for different CP IV and moveset changes for those players that are in level 1 through 9 10 through 19 20 through 29 and 30 and up for level 30 players and up to trade their higher CP Pokemon to level 10 20 and level uh, 20 to 29 will break trading so that's the thing you guys gotta keep in mind it really depends we don't know if if it was accessible to it so we'll have to find out so and it's because of higher CP calculations so this is something you guys gotta keep in mind of is trades can break so keep in mind on trade the CP levels or just something like that if trading is gonna be approved or not approved so yeah keep in mind about that so unless if Niantic adds 
the CP calculation decrease for level 30 and up, meaning if level 30 and up, you can trade a higher CP 3200 Dragonite for a CP 1000 through 1500 Tyranitar from level 10 to 20 or CB 2500 to 2900 Tyranitar from level 20 to 29 then the CP for Dragonite will decrease to around CP 1000 to 1500 for level 10 to 20 and CP 2020 2000 through uh, 2900 for level 20 to 29 will be a fair trade. So yeah, this is what I've talked about uh, with Elijah Watts. This is some of the information I'm going to be passing out to you guys. So yeah, um, I hope you guys find it helpful. Um, I'm really, really excited for these changes. I really like where Niantic is going with this direction. This is amazing news. So this is going to be a big cha game changer right here for Pokemon Go. So yes, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.